Okay, so I always take the bucker, make a knot, and then I throw it like this, because the likelihood that it will work is much higher than without it because of the more heavy weight. And actually like this, I get 100% of the throws. Okay, the first thing if you want to train is you have to get rid of a ridiculous hat if you wear one. Yeah. Good, Laura. Okay, um, I think for you it would be good to do push-ups and rows today. When was the last time you did push-ups and rows? Uh, maybe a few weeks ago. Okay, right. okay. And what did you do? Do you remember? No. All right. Okay, that's super helpful. So today we are going <laughs> to do <laughs> six sets. Yeah, and you can you uh, you can use reps in reserve because I don't know how much you did, but you will work with reps in reserve two. So that means you should have two reps still left in the tank, but you know mm -hmm. the concept, I think. And mm -hmm. we are doing six sets, one time push up, one time row, put the rings on a, a height that it fits you, yeah, that you can do at least five repetitions in the row. It would be nice if you put this up. And then the push-ups, either you do normal push-ups or if that would be too low of reps, if it would be below five, you can actually use the slight elevation that is over I here. I can do more than five. Yeah, okay, perfect. Then let's do that. Okay, and then we do six sets and we do it like this, that I put the timer on three minutes and every three minutes the next set starts. Mm -hmm. So if it beeps, then you start the next ex exercise. It beeps, next exercise, beeps, next exercise, until we are done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Strength. No strength? Yeah. For you? Yeah, because you're still a bit sicker. Huh? But what yeah. are you going to do? Lower body mobility and upper body mobility. All right. And do you know what already? Exactly. Low gait position, so things for the hips. And um, I will do the unilateral routine. I will do some hanging. Okay, that sounds actually like quite strength. Uh, strengthy. What yeah, do I do? don't need to go so Intense, far. Yeah. Okay, yeah, don't know, do it. <laughs> okay. My advice for you. Thanks. Yeah, you don't have to prove anything to <laughs> anyone here. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good set. You shift, it, you shift it a little bit to the side. Yeah? Yeah, a tiny bit. Yeah, you start to shift a bit huh. to your right side. Uh -huh. And you lost now a little bit more the core strength, yeah, that you push more like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and do that set as well. Important thing is to bring the head directly into the ring. You really go like this, not like this. Here. Here you want to have the arm. One. Two. Yeah, so we just finished the communication and partner work workshop. Yeah, it was nice to teach you with you, Laura, six days. And uh, last year we did three times three days, always two months in between. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, this time we did, this time we did one times six days. Yeah, it's quite nice what uh, this combination of moving with each other, touching, and some martial arts, some supportive games, some helping each other to grow some games in the group and this stuff and then it's the combination of the communication how it much it connects with the people with each other and opens the hearts of the people for each other also no like through this communication where you speak from the heart hmm. and then also all this interaction through the movement it was also nice to see that the same principles apply to the communication with words and to the communication with the bodies in yeah. the games and then to see how they translate from one to another and practice them in different ways. No, like someone said, this combination, at least they have not heard of before. For me, it's sort of obvious of a combination, this close connection of this embodiment 
moving together, doing stuff together on these different layers, like set. That's the last thing. Seven. And <laughs> <laughs> that was not ten anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. For the next time, you know, hurry. I think you did ten, no? Like in the first. I did six sets of ten. Oh. No. Six. I did four sets of ten. Yeah. And one set of eight and one set of seven. Okay, then probably if you would have gone yeah, for something like eight yeah. reps. You could have kept the eight reps for the whole time and also with a higher quality. Mm -hmm. But the last one was better quality from like not going to the side mm -hmm. and so on. Yeah, but the main thing is about the braking, no, in the in the midsection and then mm -hmm. in the last one you went to failure. But it's also all right, like it was the last set. Laura, when was the first time you uh, did the NVC? Yeah, like you heard about the NVC? Like when was your first training in this or reading about it? Mm. How old were you? I think I read the book when I was 27. Right. So 10 years ago. Yes. I consider myself lucky because I was exposed the first time to similar ideas, like to the uh, work of Thomas Gordon by my math teacher in school. Huh. I, was, um, I think I was 15, I would say. Not 100% sure, but I think I was 15. Definitely helped me. I think maybe I was even younger. And that and from that moment i realized many people cannot listen well it's the same like males and women they are both equally bad at listening and i want to translate this into actually what it means which means i would say tell me if, if this resonates with you that bad at listening means that you don't really hear the message that the other person intended to say does this is this what you mean with I bad think, at listening yeah i think one main thing if you're really a listener someone comes to you with a problem and you listen is to uh, to actively contribute that the person goes out of the of, of of the conversation and says that was so helpful for me to have this conversation hmm. and I felt from that on I realized wow many times when I talk with someone about a problem I go out of the conversation and I don't at all have the feeling that this was somehow helpful for me who has the problem hmm. yeah because maybe the person was like giving advice that I, I didn't want to hear you know i just maybe wanted someone to help me make sense of my own thoughts mm -hmm. yeah but that's often for people difficult no because they want to say something also yeah like it's so nice to have this clarity actually what am i ex expecting now when i share this story do i just want to be listened to do i want to receive advice yeah. do i want to hear if the other person also recognizes this like often people don't really have this themselves the idea of what they really want because if they did they could ask for it more easy but what i hear also joseph is that for you it's important to be helpful and and that you mentioned this that you can help others or that others really help you when you have a problem yeah like someone comes with a problem and if that person walks out and that nothing changed it's a bit like eh, that's not that's not how it works and can, you, can you connect why this is so important for you to be effective and because i don't like people walking around with their problems unsolved definitely don't like me walking around with problems completely unsolved and i don't want other people to suffer from that like walking around and suffering and no one can listen no one is really listening to them and it would be maybe very easy regularly people tell me nice i talk with several people and no one asked me this question and that really helped me you know, throughout the, the years of trying to become a good listener. Okay, shall I show you what we are doing next? Yes. Cool. One thing is that we're going to do hanging leg raises, HLRs, and there are different possibilities. What do you think? Maybe for you with the bent knees like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's best. Okay. 
I will do this version where I go straight, up, up, down, and up. So it's not just here, but it will be also around here. That's number one. We're going here, one foot, and we go into extension. This can be also done one arm, like this. Mm -hmm. but it will be enough for now to do this, and then change after half of it. And the important thing is to really have like the full activation here, like really push up. What do you think in the hanging leg raises? If we do three sets, what can you do for three sets good quality? Maybe what? three? Three reps? Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, we do it. I will do, I will do, I think six. I'm also not 100% sure, I need to see, get a feeling with the first set, but I, I think I will do six of this version. And the other one is four time. I want to give you 20 seconds and after 20 seconds switching the legs, so 40 seconds. After both of us finished, we do one minute of rest and then we go to the other exercise. Mm -hmm. All right, nice, that's it. Den muss man mal ein bisschen besser pflegen hier. Na gut, machen wir ja jetzt. Wir nutzen ihn ja. Was, wie, was, äh, was hältst du von meiner Idee mit dem, wir machen so einen Salat mit, aus drei Zutaten. Mhm. Und dieses Fleisch, Fleisch <lacht> und äh, Salz und das Öl, was wir zum Braten brauchen. Nee? Okay. Dann machen wir noch andere Sachen dazu. Zum Glück habe ich noch Avocado gebracht und es gibt Möhren. Wir können auch noch ein bisschen aus dem Garten Sachen holen. Ja, geil. Hätte gar nicht gedacht, dass das so groß wird hier. Die kleinen Pflänzchen so groß werden. Für manche Pflanzen ist der Sommer schon vorbei. Gundermann, sehr lecker für den Salat. Sieht schön aus, oder? wie die sich dann erst auffalten. Die kleinen Blätter werden dann irgendwann groß. Gänsefingerkraut. Ja, ich denke, das ist gut so. Aber Aber ich schneide Champignons nicht. Ich mache das so. Ich nehme die einfach in die Hände und mache einfach zack. Und mache ich die da rein. Champignons in die Hand nehmen und dann zack rein. So, fertig. Geil. Boah, das ist schwer. Ist auch Training. Ja. Das ist eine Trainingspfanne. Wieso machst du da jetzt Apfelessig rein? Weil das ist extrem gesund. Hast du wohl schon was gegessen eigentlich heute? Mhm. -mm. Ich auch nicht. Ah nee, doch, ich habe schon so eine Nektarine und Pfirsich gegessen. 